Here we present a novel technique for the precise placement of central venous catheter tips. No more guesswork. Placement of tunneled central venous catheters is probably one of the most common procedures performed by pediatric surgeons. Most begin with the sterile Seldinger technique in which the vein is accessed. Next, a wire is passed through the needle into the vein. An incision is made to tunnel the catheter. Another incision is made over the entry site of the wire. The catheter is then tunneled up through the incisions. Next, a dilator is placed over the wire. The wire is removed, and then the catheter needs to be cut to the appropriate length. This is the hard part because it's all guesswork. If you cut the catheter too short, it'll end up too high. If you cut the catheter too long, it'll end up too deep within the heart. Here we describe a very simple trick that will allow perfect, precise placement of the catheter tip every time. This is called the wire mark technique. In this first example, we're using it to place a metaport. The vein is accessed and the wire is inserted into the vein. The basic idea of this trick is that the wire is used more than just a guide for the catheter, but actually as a measuring device. The tip of the wire is placed exactly where we would want the tip of the catheter. Then, the distance is measured from the tip of the wire to where it exits from the skin. That distance is then used to know how long to cut the catheter. Once the wire is placed into the vein, we watch under fluoroscopy as we pull back on the wire until the tip is exactly where we would want the tip of the catheter to be. We then mark the wire either with a marker or with a very slight crimp using a needle driver. We then place the dilator over the wire and remove the wire and clamp the dilator. We then measure the distance from the tip of the wire to the crimp and then cut the catheter as it's exiting the skin to exactly that length. The catheter is then passed into the dilating sheath. The port is accessed to make sure that it flushes and aspirates well. And then fluoro is used to make sure that the catheter tip is in the precise location. Here's another example of the wire mark technique, this time with a broviac. The wire is placed and then under fluoroscopy we pull back on the wire until we're happy with the position of the tip of the wire at the atrial cable junction. We then mark the wire either with a marking pen or with a crimp using a needle driver. Then we pass the dilating sheath over the wire. Most of us usually guess by approximating over the chest wall, but instead we can use the wire mark technique to know exactly where to cut the catheter. The wire is removed, the dilating sheath is clamped. The distance from the tip of the wire to the kink is measured. In this case, we laid it over the catheter. We then cut the catheter to the exact same distance. The catheter is placed through the dilating sheath and confirmed to be in perfect position on fluoroscopy.